Hey guys, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. We are on Minmus, and I thought we'd go through the system I used to clean up um, all my all my scientific experiments that we have on the uh, Spirit of Defiance. There, yeah, I, I could remember exactly what I was going to say here. Anyway, we got Kirk out of the uh, the ship, and we uh, got the Kerbal Attachment Fuel Pumping System to join up the science base lab thing and the spirit of defiance we then hop um kirk back in there and clean the scientific experiments from the science lab that's the important bit whilst we wait for that nice little percentage number to count down in the background what we're going to do is have a look at our biome map um, on here and look at the very other side of the planet because we still have the flats the lesser flats and the great flats to be done um which i for some reason, I didn't really point out very well with my with my mouse here, but um, if you look on the far left and far right, there's a, a, a light grey patch that that swell that um, spans the edge of the map, and that is the lesser flats, or possibly the great flats, one or the other. Um, and that's what we're heading for, which, um, as we are in the middle of the map at the moment, and we need to get to the bit that spans the edge of the map, means we are going completely round the planet, which will be a very interesting challenge for this, this vessel. Uh, if you remember, the biome bouncer couldn't make it more than, like, 30-odd kilometres away, which well as you know isn't quite halfway uh, isn't quite all the way around minmus uh, and not only do we intend to go uh, to the other side but we also need to come back as well um so yeah the, 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 today's mission is going to be a long and arduous one uh, especially if i can't set up my set all my kerbals into any any vessels all right so everything's cleaned out and ready to go um i know that we've just got to head off in one direction so we're going to uh, put away all our all our solar panels point westwards uh, ever so slightly northwards as well for some obscure reason and just point upwards and thrust we need to get as much forward velocity as possible but we also have another little bit of an issue um that the the i've taken off during the daytime um, on this side of the planet which means it's nighttime on the other side of the planet and indeed we're actually going into nighttime so that that's going to make things even more awkward um, if we could just settle down somewhere, we can we can correct this. But at the moment, we we've already burnt the fuel, so we've just got to try and get ourselves over there. Yeah. So I'm I'm pointing out right now the two two flats that I'm headed for. It was the one on the far left and left of my map, uh, and we we just have some. Oh, well, top of the arc business to, to go through. It's here that I realise that we're coming into uh, the, the darkness and basically everything's going to go really badly if I keep doing it like this. As of course, I wouldn't have anywhere to actually set... Well, I will have somewhere to set down, but it will be complete darkness. And I've got wheels on the bottom of this thing, which means that I could very well um, roll into a hill. And if I roll into a hill too fast, that's a collision and collisions are bad. Okay, so we jump forward a little bit here. Basically, I've cleared the greater flats um, with with the arc that was uh, already predetermined by my lift uh, by my takeoff burn uh, and we've done a little bit of slowing down just because I've noticed we're coming in rather hard at this this hill right here um, and that means that I'm probably gonna crash into it so it's time to think about braking um, or at least as I've done here, slowing down and buoying up my arc a little bit more so we can get over the top of this and maybe put down on the other side. Um, I wasn't overly sure what how this was going to play out. Um, as I said, we're all in the darkness. Um, the ground is approaching at quite a rate of knots and I've managed to get my arc down to uh, a small little nub on my map there so that we can... Um, uh, so we can get down in a, a, a safe manner. Uh, safety is the, the key here. Um, as you'll tell, we are scraping the floor. Uh, that, that was a scary manoeuvre right now. And now what we need to do is try and um, slow down as much as possible. We're, we're over the hill, um, so any sort of like rising land mass is not going to come at me even quicker. But we need to try and settle down onto... You can, I can just make out the flats in front of me here. I'm not sure whether you guys can. Um, obviously, YouTube has this uh, amazing habit of making my dark videos even darker. Um, but you might be able to see that I'm thrusting upwards with my RCS thrusters. The, the jets are coming out downwards. Now, this is almost entirely to try and like mitigate my downward velocity. If you if you look at my my velocity markers on the on the far right, I was dropping at something like 25 meters per second and that was fast um so fast that well 
my, my steering is a little bit off. We go go to the other side. We're, we're like heading back up the hill. Um, but I'm feeling good. I'm feeling sound. I, th I think we've actually managed to uh, put down safely. And uh, hopefully, as long as this entire manoeuvre pans out well, uh, and which we seem to be doing okay, we're, we are shedding velocity at a rate of a couple of metres per second per second. So that that's... That's all good. Um, so we roll down the hill a little bit because for some reason I don't like um, time accelerating on hills. Um, it, it's just a little personal prejudice of mine. Uh, I've, I've seen what happens just when you're in clamps and stuff like that when things drop down and bounce back up. And I don't want that to happen on a hill. So we're going to go down and we're going to going to kiss the flat surface down below us. Okay, because rolling down a hill is mind numbingly boring, well, I've jumped forward a little bit here till we're in the middle of the flats. Um, which means we are in uh, science biome number one. Uh, looking at my map here, you'll notice where we are on the map. If you go across to the left to that point there, it is the le uh, greater flats, uh, the great flats, and the next one on is the lesser flats. So that that determined, it's time to get our Kerbal out, um, go do some science. Hopefully, I'm going to do everything here. Um, as always, I'm editing without actually knowing exactly what science I did because I thought I did it all, but no doubt I forgot to do something like the crew report. Like I just did the EVA and the science um, and the surface sample there, and that was quite good. Uh, we're now going to do the materials bay, okay, and some goo, hopefully. Okay, so far so good. We're just looking for one more. Are we going to do it? We're not going to do it. We're not going to do the crew report. Damn you, Twitchy. You are the worst at games. Okay, so we know that over the top of those hills there is the next set of flats that we're headed for. Um, a little bit of uncontrolled flight, <laughs> which, you know, is an awesome takeoff. Um, we're going to try using our RCS if at all possible because we need to get halfway around the planet and then back again. And we've used a lot more um, liquid fuel uh, than we have monoprop. Um, and I've also noticed it is night time again, which is not great, but that's okay. Well, when I say it is night time, um, it is night time a couple of hundred meters over the hill. You, you can see on my map there, there is lots of shadow and lots of shadow means that it's not exactly great gr uh, driving conditions, but that's all right. We're going to try and um, ease our way over the top of this hill here. We're hopefully going to use monoprop, but probably not. Um, uh, I don't know whether you guys can tell yet, but I'm looking at this and I'm going, no, we're not going to make it over that. I even lower down my landing gear just so we, we, we can clip the ground and still be all right. Um, though clip is a very relative term. It's like very, very gently clip the ground. We, we don't want to be like smashing our way into the floor far too hard. That will break like just every single bit of my ship ever. And that would be terrible. Um, so anyway, we're going to come along here and I... I'm feeling good about this now that, now that we've put some rocket fuel into it and Kirk's not looking overly happy, but with the lights on the ridge, we can tell that we're going to jump over it fine. So we come a little bit further along until we come to this. Basically, we just went over a nice flat plateau and I'm suddenly deciding that I should have probably stayed on that plateau over there. Uh, we're going to look at our map and it's all looking a bit dodgy, but it does look like the, the, the flats are just over those hills over there or the, the, the lesser flats are just over that hill over there. So we're going to try and do some uh, mid-air um, maneuvering thrusts. As you may be able to tell, I'm not quite nosing up enough yet, so we're going to we're going to nose up, and we're just going to try and aim for that that little gap in the hill over there. Uh, now, obviously, I've been driving this for a while at this point. It's probably been oh look, th three hours mission time. Now we had that we had um, the the time acceleration during that, which would have probably added an extra hour and a half on, shall we say, like half the time. But that's still driving for about an hour at this point. This entire mission actually took me about four hours, which isn't ideal, but, you know, the, that's the way we do it if we're going to um, do this sort of driving around the planet luck. Now, we can see my shadow on the floor there. That, that's good. That means that we can judge distance. Uh, worse than that, my lights are on the floor, which means we're even closer than we thought. So we're going to have to panic mode, trusting the landing gear. Oh. Well, looks like it's time for a reload. <laughs> okay, so this time around, we've gone slightly more to the left. You can see just what we looked to to the right there was actually the hill that I managed to crash into. And this time, oh, we put down nicely and we're just, we're traveling forwards. Uh, uh, as I was saying earlier on in the episode, uh, the rising ground coming towards you is the difficult bit. If you are uh, traveling 
sort of parallel with the ground everything's all right your wheels can help if you traveling into a hill that's pointing upwards you, you it's all over as just demonstrated there all right so my shadow all the way over there shows us that things are going well and we're, we're not actually like coming down too hard we're, we're traveling down at about eight meters per second and gaining a meter per second actually no my rcs is, is nicely counteracting that now um and over that ridge line right in front of us there's that phrase again over that ridge line right in front of us is where our next scientific endeavor lays to save us some uh, video time i've uh, fast forwarded here right to the very ridge of that hill that we were just looking at um i've done a quick save if you're wondering and i've just taken kirk out to look at the land before us um and do some backflips because that what that's what kirk loves to do um oh yeah look at that Free running skills there, my friends. Free running skills. No, no one does parkour quite like Kirk does parkour. But my main um, main objective of looking down this hill was just to make sure that there's no um, like ridiculous jumps or uh, scary bits that were going to take the ship down. Um, and, and looking over there, yeah, it all looks good. So let's get Kirk back inside the ship um, using his magnificent jetpack skills and think about how we're going to uh, drive down this hill. Now, I'm planning to literally just drive down the hill like we did in the actual Greater Flats. Um, unfortunately, Kirk has different ideas. He just does not want to get inside that command pod, which, it, to be fair, it, it, very rarely he wants to get inside that command pod. He loves just flying around on his jetpack. All right, so after checking out the Batman batteries, you go, go read them. They're, that's quite good. They actually say they're Batman batteries. Um, we're going to take our brakes off. Well, first, what we're going to do is time accelerate to have like some sunshine over the top of our heads um, because, hey, no one likes driving in the dark, right? Uh, and then we're going to try and remember to take our brakes off, give it a couple of seconds, and then thrust forwards with the RCS. You'll notice the whole time through this, though, I have my um, SAS on, um, which is good. That means that we can like just flow down on our back two wheels and keep our front wheel pointed upwards so that if we come to any deviation of the slope, as you can see there are quite a few deviations of the slope, we're just going to roll round the curve rather than like plow into it nose first. Which I think would be a little bit of a disadvantage. I don't know, smashing up the front of my ship before we've even done any science. Well, we've done a little bit of science, but smashing up the ship before we do the science that we come here to do, uh, that's not great. So my main thought process whilst run, rolling down this hill is uh, about feathering my brakes, trying to not slam into the floor at, well, I don't know, I'm aiming for 10 metres per second at least at the beginning of the hill, and then I'm like, well, we may as well just let ourselves roll a little bit. We've got a long way to travel, and we've already been travelling for a long way. Uh, 14 metres per second with the brakes on and slowing down. So maybe we want to take the brakes off. Yeah, I, I would take the brakes off. Well, it turns out I didn't take the brakes off. I thought I was going to take the brakes off. Um, but yeah, and, and as I say, that was my main thought process the whole way through this, is just trying to not go like ridiculous speeds down, down this hill. Not because I don't want to uh, travel too fast. Obviously, I would love to travel as fast as possible, but because I see this ridge ahead of us coming up and also the transition to the floor will be coming up at some point. But still, even with the thoughts of trying to get down there as fast as possible and not smash my ship up, it is taking the best part of a year to get down here. Almost this entire mission is just about watching this ship roll around, and I'm trying to save you guys the most boring of these bits, but trust me, like a, a few of them you, ha you have to be able to watch. Like this one, rolling down the hill, it's amazing. Uh, I'm, I'm also after this going to spend about an hour just uh, cruising over this flat because it takes up something like a quarter of the planet so we're, we're going to do that. Uh, so at this point you can tell I'm bored, I'm starting to kick my back wheels down so that we, uh, we take off a little bit. Um, I thought it was nice and flat, we, we could possibly get away with doing that. Uh, hopefully I do it on the ridge line as well. No, 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 it's just a natural bounce on the ridge line. I would have thought I'd have done that. Um, uh, so we're coming down at um, quite a scary 20 odd meters per second here. 29, are we going to break the 30? 30 meters per second there. But that's all right. We can see the transition zone below us there. So it's time to slam our brakes on and let the natural sort of 
braking power of our brakes. I know it's weird to think that brakes break, but that's that's what they do. Um, and let that slow us down. Unfortunately, it also means that I've got to try and keep my nose up because if that front wheel bites in, it it like sends us flying head over heels, as you'd imagine. But there we go. We're down that hill, and there was only a little bit of pointless ramble <laughs> whilst we were were making our way down there. Uh, and now we've just got to try and bring ourselves to a stop. Um, though I think I'm going to let that happen naturally, and you don't want to watch that, so we're just going to pop along to the end. Half hour later, we're still rolling. If you get bored on Mimus, try one wheel driving. Okay, so an hour mission time later, I'm braking enough to slow down. I did most of this at four times acceleration, so that was like, uh, well, I don't know, 20 minutes or so of actual driving. I I got very bored there. I was doing bunny hops and one wheel, one wheel, like, manuals and stuff. Um, which was all good, but it's now time to get out and do some sciencing, I think. Kirk, of course, is getting well practiced at this now. But of course, he'll probably forget to do some science. We don't know what it will be. So there's a surface sample and there's an EVA. Uh, will we get back in the ship and do a crew report? No, we're going to jump up as high as we can and see what we can do up in the sky. Uh, what we can do is bust out our jetpack and fly gently back in. Oh, look, it was great. But we got back out for some unknown reason. Why did we get back out? Ah, uh, yes, of course. Whilst um, the goo canisters in the materials bay uh, cannot be done just off the surface and be different from um, the biome or be different from the near space of all the other biomes, EVA reports are biome specific when you're just above like near space. So that's what I did there, I went out and I got even more science. Still neglected to do the crew report though I see, but that's alright, it's time for us to uh, head even further on. Um, now what I'm going to do is just carry on rolling here because I've noticed that we're at about under half fuel level so far and whilst we've done a lot of accelerating and braking, um, whilst I was playing I didn't think about all the extra fuel the accelerating and braking would use. I was just like, hmm, maybe we should just roll forever. Uh, oh, oh, I did a crew report! I did a crew report! Hey! Well, how's that guys? We did it all! Okay, so let's let the, uh, the, the sun... Uh, drift overhead a bit so that we can make sure that we're we're heading towards sunlight rather than heading towards shadow and we're going to yeah as I say just drift across the the land we're, we're going over there to that next set of flats yeah across all that broken terrain apart from we're not going to go across the broken terrain because I learned at the last place the broken terrain is very dangerous and over there is a plat plateau that we can use so we're gonna go over to that plateau okay we're gonna do this in a series of jump cuts here's us at the bottom of the hill here's us driving by um instruments generally just having a bit of a look around i mean we're on top of the plateau here uh there was an awful lot of this just basically checking out my instruments seeing what's going on making sure that i am level with the ground and clearing hundreds of well possibly even thousands of meters probably lots of kilometers actually until we get to this point here where suddenly <gasps> we're flying free um i'm pretty sure that i can head to that patch over there but i don't want to head to that patch over there i want to go to the left because that makes me feel more secure uh i'm not sure how we're going to uh break or slow down here we're just going to try and use our rcs to push us over as much as possible over that way um and then through the, the the combination of brakes and rockets and RCS, try and slow down as safely as possible. For some reason right there I decided the safest way to slow down was to accelerate towards the floor. That's no good, let's accelerate the other way. That's much better. Now I'm kind of aiming for that ridge line over there. <coughs> A lot of uh, aiming for ridge lines when you drive, it turns out. <coughs> um, the, the logic behind that is because the ground drops away on the other side as opposed to coming up to meet you even harder. Um, uh, the other problem is trying to use rockets without adding too much forward velocity because we are exactly where we need to be. Well, we're not exactly where we need to be, but we are so close to being where we need to be that it's time to think about slowing down, um, not adding extra velocity. Which is why I've turned my brakes on and I'm now trying to get my wheels to have contact with the floor as much as possible and also slow down using RCS. Brakes are more effective than the RCS, I will point this out, but trying to keep your wheels in contact with the floor to make them more effective than RCS 
is actually the hard bit here. If I was just pushing backwards with the RCS, I'd probably be slowing down as well as traveling down. But also, I don't want to shed too much speed because that, that mint source in front of me there is where we want to be aiming for. And we don't want to stop halfway up the hill. That, that would be rubbish. Uh, so much so that I take the brakes off, put them back on, and now I'm worried about going up the hill. Um, which, yeah, isn't too much of a worry, really. We're just going to carry on slamming my brakes on um, and trying to try to just dig my wheels into the floor as much as possible without flipping myself out. Turns out it's quite difficult. Um, you, you, you touch down with one wheel and it kicks you the other. And even with fine controls on, you can't hold down any buttons for any like extended period of time. Uh, which, you know, that, that's... That's uh, driving in a low-gravity low environment for you. That's just the way it goes, I suppose. Right, so it's time to get out and do the sciencing. Um, uh, do, we, do we need to watch me do the sciencing again? Not really, but we are going to watch this flag-placing um, ceremony take place. Uh, so where are we? We're on the other side of the planet. It might be a bit, bit much calling Minmus a planet, but um, yeah. Kurt Kerman's greatest hour, uh, circumnavigation even. I thought I'd call it the greatest hour, but obviously I had not. Uh, so we're collecting the sciences, because, you know, we just said we weren't going to watch that, so let's watch that. Um, we're going to have a little jaunty walk, um, get my jetpack out, because that's always the best way to go. Uh, or perhaps we're going to go for some screenshottings. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's what I was doing here. That would make a lot more sense. So with the many sciences, screenshottings, and making sure I'm pointing in the right directions done, it's time to take off and go home. It's, that's it. We've done, we've done this particular mission. Oh, it's a long one. It's been a very long one, guys. But all we need to do is uh, travel round in the right direction at the right speed. Hopefully not doing too much of that going over the top. But that's all right. All we need to do is do a little downward burns at the right time. Make sure my Apple apps comes, comes down to the right, right height. Um, right now I'm just using my monoprop to push me down whilst at the same time looking at that blue line to make sure we don't end up smashing into any uh, ridge lines like that one coming up over the, the, the horizon right now. Um, doing all that takes us to this point which is us coming into to, uh, to the base which you have seen many more many times before which is going to prompt me to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, guys. We've got one more to do next episode, and then we can say that um, Minmus is complete and all finished. So I will see you next time for doing that. Bye!